What if a sea could almost vanish within a single generation? In the mid-20th century, the Aral Sea was the fourth largest lake on Earth, straddling Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. It teemed with fish, supported thriving communities, and moderated the harsh Central Asian climate. But everything changed when the Soviet Union launched massive irrigation projects, diverting the Amu Darya and Sir Darya rivers to transform deserts into cotton fields. The result was catastrophic. By the 1980s, the Aral Sea had lost over half its volume, and by the early 2000s, it had shrunk to less than 10% of its original size. Once bustling fishing ports found themselves stranded miles from the shrinking shoreline. The exposed lake bed turned into a toxic dust bowl laced with pesticides and salt, poisoning crops and causing severe health problems for locals, including respiratory diseases and cancers. The climate itself shifted. Hotter summers, colder winters, and increased sandstorms ravaged the region. Efforts to save parts of the sea have had limited success, but the damage remains profound. Today, the Aral Sea stands as a haunting reminder of human impact on nature, its ghostly, rusting ships marooned in barren desert where water once flowed. This tragedy reshaped both the land and the lives of millions, illustrating the devastating consequences of unchecked environmental manipulation. 